Hey viewers, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to this YouTube channel Meer Academia and this is Hamza Meer. Well, today I have brought one of the topic of our history from O levels that is the Morley Minto reforms of 1909. Well, viewers, these reforms were also called as the Indian Council Act of 1909. Before we start the next slide, let's see that what we have in this video. Well, viewers, as you have seen in the content that what exactly we are going to watch in this video and there are total two questions related with this topic that we are going to discuss in this video. Number one, we have over here right there on the screen that is what was the Indian Council Act or what was the Morley Minto reforms and it's a four mark question. And in this slide, I will tell you okay, what exactly you need to write in this four mark question or which content is your four mark question. Ke so let's start with the very first thing that you need to write over here. The first thing is jointly drafted by Voice Trial Lord Minto and Secretary State of India that was John Morley. So mainly these reforms were being brought by these two persons. Jin mein se ek jo the wo Lord Minto the, he was a Voice Trial and the second person was John Morley who was the Secretary State for India. So this is the first thing that you need to write in this answer. Another thing you need to write over here would be that these reforms were brought just to increase the representation of the Indians in the councils. Jitni bhi councils thi, uske andar Indians ki representation ko increase karne ke liye bhi in reforms ko laya gaya. Wo kaun kaun si councils thi? Aur kitne members un councils ke andar add kiye gaye? There were three actually. Number one was Imperial. Second was the Central Executive Council and third was the Provincial Council. So let's see that ke kitne members un councils ke andar add kiye gaye. As you could see the third bullet over here that 60 members in Imperial as well as in Central Executive Council were added. So ek to aap ye likhenge ke 60 members Imperial ke andar aur 60 hi Central Executive Council ke andar add kiye gaye. Aur jahan tak baat hai Provincial Council ki to there were total 50 members which were added in the larger province and the 30 members were basically added in the smaller provinces. So, three councils, Imperial, exact, Central Executive Council or Provincial Council ke inder, members ki strength ko increase kiya gaya. Iske alawa, representation ke alawa, that you need to write over here would be the council which was basically made or were added, they were only advisory. It means that ke jo council members say they, they can only advise British on the important matters. They were allowed to discuss or advise on the matters, but they were not being given the powers. Unko authoritative nahi kiya gaya, but unko sirf or sirf advisory rakha gaya. Next thing that you need to write over here would be about the Muslims that as they were given the separate electorate in Shimla deputation, jo humne apni previous videos ke bhi discuss kiya tha. Yahan pe bhi the same point was maintained. Means ke Morley Minto reforms ke andar bhi separate electorate ko maintained rakha gaya. And the last thing that you need to write in this four mark question would be this that the Congress, the Indian National Congress mainly rejected these reforms. Hum uski reason ko is four mark question ke andar discuss nahi karenge ke why these reforms basically were, were rejected. For that we have another question to discuss in the upcoming slide. But this one would make sure that ke aapka 4 mark ka jo question hai, agar aap itni information uske andar likhte hai, to that would be fine to add. You can see that these points straight away on the screen and you can convert them into statement and write all these points to get the full marks. Well viewers, uh, moving forward to our next content as we have discussed that we will video in this video two content discuss karenge. We have already discussed the four mark question. Now we have another question from the same topic which is right there on the screen that is why the reforms were opposed or rejected by INC. As you know that in seven mark ke question ke andar, we need three different paragraphs or three identified reasons with explanation which we have to So we will see next three slides ke andar, उन तीन पैराग्राफ्स को और उनके कंटेंट को देखेंगे कि कौन से तीन आइडेंटिफाइड रीजन हैं 
जो इस क्वेश्चन के आंसर के अंदर आएंगे एंड व्हाट कुड बी द कंटेंट दैट वी नीड टू राइट इन ईच पैराग्राफ सो लेट्स मूव एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वेरी फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ दैट वी नीड टू राइट इन दिस क्वेश्चन well viewers as you have seen the content that what basically this first paragraph is all about so is slide ke andar hum dekhenge ki pehle paragraph ke andar what content exactly we need to write so let's start with the very first bullet that you need to write in the form of statement in this answer of the first paragraph the first thing that we will write about that the inc because they were rejecting these reforms it was indian national congress the reason for them to be rejected was that they were not been given the proper powers as you could see the first point is mainly related with the nominal powers for the central as well as for the provincial legislative assembly legislation means law making so jo kanun sazi thi jo law making thi uske andar jo unko powers di gayi thi वो बहुत मिनिमल थी बहुत लिमिटेड थी जिसकी वजह से आई एन सी वॉज हाईली डिसअपॉइंटेड दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू राइट आफ्टर दैट यूल कॉन्टिन्यू योर स्टेटमेंट विद दैट दीज इंडियंस व बेसिकली नॉट अलाउड to do any kind of a change in the law although they were the part of those legislative assembly both in central and provincial but they were not allowed to change the law it means that the powers were still in the hand of british it was not completely transferred to the indians and as we have discussed earlier the same thing we will write in this paragraph as well that these members which were added in the council were only advisory they could only advise the british on important matters but they were not been given the complete authority that is the second point that you could see on top ke wo kisi kism ke law ke andar koi change nahi lekar aa sakte the they could only advise so that is why they have been called as advisory other things that you need to write in this paragraph would be the point related with the indian national congress as they were demanding the self rule but the policies which were being brought by these reforms were totally against the demand of the indian national congress to create a self rule so all these reasons were mainly made inc disappointed and that is the reason they rejected these reforms ye hai aapka pehla paragraph now let's move towards the second paragraph and let's see that what a second paragraph is all about continuing with the second paragraph as we have seen the major heading of this paragraph would be the separate electorate to hum separate electorate ke bare mein is second paragraph ke andar likhenge which mainly became the reason for the rejection of the reforms by inc as you could see that it was criticized by the inc indian national congress ke separate electorate wo kabhi bhi nahi chahte the कि जो मुस्लिम्स हैं बीइंग अ माइनॉरिटी उनको सेपरेट इलेक्टोरेट दिया जाए शिमला डेपुटेशन में ये सेपरेट इलेक्टोरेट का पॉइंट जो था वो ऐड किया गया और उसको मॉरल मेंटो रिफॉर्म्स के अंदर मेंटेन्ड रखा गया दैट इज व्हाई द आईएनसी क्रिटिसाइज दीज रिफॉर्म्स एज वेल एक तो आप ये चीज मैंशन करेंगे कि सेपरेट इलेक्टोरेट वॉज मेनली हाईली क्रिटिसाइज बाय आई second thing that you need to understand over here would be the numerical strength of the muslims as we know that the muslims were the minority but still they were getting the higher positions in the council muslims were the only minority who were getting the separate electorate aur ye cheez jo thi wo indians ko ya inc ko acceptable nahi thi basically the separate electorate was mainly called as undemocratic by the inc kyunki agar hum agar hum democracy ke point of view se dekhe to we usually say that democracy was mainly the majority it was all about majority the majority is authority but as the muslims were in minority still were uh, they were being given the separate separate electorate that is why inc declared it as undemocratic aur iski wajah se unko jo threat tha wo ye tha ke just because of the separate electorate they were threatened mainly ke wo apni domination indian politics ke andar create nahi kar payenge so there was a threat to hindu domination in indian politics that is another reason that they did not want muslims to get the separate electorate so ye point hamara second paragraph banega mainly ke muslims ko separate electorate milna bhi wajah thi that the inc rejected these reforms 
so now let's move towards our third paragraph and the last one and let's see ke uski major reason kya thi aur uske andar what exactly we need to write well viewers moving towards the third and the last paragraph of this answer that why the reforms were rejected by inc we need to target the partition of bengal we need to understand a little bit about this topic ke jo 1905 ke andar bengal ko partition kiya gaya tha aapne meri previous video ke andar bhi dekha hai ke humne discuss kiya tha uske andar ke partition ki kya reason thi aur uske baad reversal ko humne combined discuss kiya tha but yahan pe you need to understand that ke jab partition ki gayi thi 1905 ke andar bengal ki तो उसमें जो ब्रिटिश ने रीजन दिया था वो ये था कि दे आर डूइंग दैट एज पर दे पॉलिसी बिकॉज दे आर अनेबल टू एडमिनिस्टर सच अ लार्ज प्रोविंस तो उन्होंने उसको दो प्रोविंस के अंदर डिवाइड किया ईस्ट और वेस्ट बंगाल और आईएनसी का ये क्लेम था दैट द पार्टीशन हैड नथिंग टू डू विद एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एफिशियंसी एंड दे वर मेनली टारगेटिंग इट और बेसिकली वो ये कहते थे कि ब्रिटिश जो है वो अपनी डिवाइड एंड रूल पॉलिसी इंप्लीमेंट कर रहा है यहाँ पे दैट इज अस्टर रीजन एज पर द आई तो एक तो इस चीज को आपने टारगेट करना है और उसके साथ आपने ये मेंशन करना है कि जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द पार्टीशन व्हाट बेसिकली द ब्रिटिश आर ट्राइंग टू डू एज पर आईएनसी से दैट दे क्लेम दैट ब्रिटिश ट्राइड टू वीक द इंडियन यूनिटी वो इंडियन की यूनिटी को ब्रेक करना चाहते हैं इस पार्टीशन से और आपको जैसा कि याद होगा कि जब पार्टीशन हो गई थी उसके बाद एक पोलिटिकल इंस्टेबिलिटी क्रिएट हुई थी सब कॉन्टिनेंट के अंदर बिकॉज द हिंदूज दे स्टार्टेड प्रोटेस्टिंग उन्होंने कई ब्रिटिश ऑफिशियल्स को मारा था एक फेल्ड असेसिनेशन अटेम्प्ट ऑफ लॉर्ड मिंटो भी आपने देखा प्रीवियस कॉन्टेंट के अंदर वो भी किया गया तो उसके ऊपर फिर हिंदूज को रोकने के लिए उनको स्नब करने के लिए ब्रिटिश ट्राई टू ब्रिंग सम मैयस वो तमाम मैयस भी जब फेल्ड हो गए तो फिर ये रिफॉर्म्स नाइनटीन के अंदर लाए गए टू पैसेफाई द हिंदूज उनको किसी तरह से स्टेबलाइज करने के लिए पोलिटिकल स्टेबिलिटी लाने के लिए लेकिन ये रिफॉर्म्स भी जो थे वो हिंदूज को पैसेफाई नहीं कर सके और आपने देखा था कि 1911 के अंदर जो है वो रिवर्सल क्रिएट हुआ था जस्ट बिकॉज के ये रिफॉर्म्स भी रिजेक्ट हो गए और उसकी एक और जो लास्ट रीजन यहां पे आप मेंशन करेंगे इस पैराग्राफ के अंदर वो ये होगी कि द रिफॉर्म्स एज पर आईएनसी गेव मोर राइट टू मुस्लिम देन हिंदूज क्योंकि उनके नजदीक ये था कि जैसा सेपरेट इलेक्ट्रेट मुस्लिम को दिया गया तो द आई एन सी थॉट दैट द मोर कंसेशन वर बिंग रिवॉर्डेड टू द मुस्लिम राधर हिंदूज तो ये तमाम रीजन थी जो हमने फर्स्ट सेकेंड और थर्ड पैराग्राफ के अंदर देखी दैट यू नीड टू राइट फॉर दिस सेवन मार्क क्वेश्चन और ये तीन पैराग्राफ्स वुड बी मोर देन इनफ टू राइट टू गेट द कंप्लीट मार्क्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन वेल थैंक यू व्यूअर्स फॉर दिस वीडियो आई होप दैट यू पीपल वुड लाइक द वीडियो और ये आपको कहीं ना कहीं आपके इन दो क्वेश्चन के अंदर हेल्प आउट की जो है वो करेगी and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel agar aapne abhi tak nahi kiya hai inshallah i will come up with the, the upcoming videos with more videos of the history and as well as of the geography until then take care of yourself khuda hafiz